Ooh, today we got something special. It's the first time we're going to open up a box of booster cards for Magic the Gathering on the channel. Vicoria like Lair Behemoth. <laughs> it's pretty exciting stuff. We finally got the little setup, which really, in, in the retrospect, took way too long. We're using a cell phone, by the way, and that seems to work out perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Anyway, sit back and enjoy the show. I think I got this. Oh my god, I got this. I think I got this. Can I get this? <laughs> yeah! Oh, nice. Gus has a nice old style cap. I'm sorry, Gus. I apologize to Gus's kids. <laughs> it is time to open up yet another box. Oh, then you shaky. The Vicoria, Lair of Behemoth. This will be our second box on the channel. I don't know if we're going to show the first one. Because, uh, I don't know, maybe we use zip ties and an extra microphone stand to maybe prop a camera up. <clears throat> and, yeah. Ooh, fancy box topper. Last time we have, a. Uh, Space C word Godzilla, which apparently isn't worth as much as they thought it was going to be right off the bat. But that just kind of happens. All right, we'll set you over there. Strange enough, there's still some cards that I, uh, that I haven't even seen yet, which is weird. I've been playing this a lot on Arena, but let's get this going. So I can make less of a mess this time as well. Alright. So we're just going to skip through all these commons. Oh, wait. <laughs> Best card of the set. I mean, it's not as good as Terramorphic Expanse, but we will take it. Alright, here we go. Hey, what the? Yeah, here we go. Monument Rider, Charge of the Forever Beast, the creepy, creepy comic book art of Porky Parrot. Um, let's go put you over there. An Emergent Ultimatum. This is working out way better, by the way. We got a, uh, I'm not going to say a professional stand, but it's a professional stand for the phone. And it, uh, it looks a lot better than <laughs> zip ties and microphone stands. Let me tell you what. Here's the tree lodge. <laughs> We're moving up, brother. We got some money now. <laughs> just, see, I haven't seen this card. I swear I, I should know all these by now. I'm still running through real quick because there might be. Oh! Two evolving wilds in one box. How lucky can I get? All right, Huntmaster Liger. Some dire tactics. Oh, here we go. I'm trying to do this again. Archipelago. Ooh. All right. We got uh, Seville, Bane of Monsters. By all means, I'm going to say a lot of this stuff wrong. It, I can't read. And I can kind of write, but you can't read that. It's so bad looking. Oh, oh. And I'm using my wife's phone, which is considerably better than mine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Migratory Great Horn. All right, here you go. Let's see what we got here. I already know we got in the back. I kind of flipped it over. Maybe you saw it. But it's all right. Swallow Hole. <laughs> uh, this is a kid's channel. <clears throat> Dusk Fang Mentor. And Ruinous Ultimated. Garuga. The Macro Sage. I will say, though, I should do this on a bigger table. Because just like last time, my spine is screaming. All 
All right, <laughs> I love this picture still. Exuberant wolf bear. <sighs> Bruin and claw bear, you got competition. That's all I got to say about that. Lead stampede. You got general's enforcer. Hmm, that looks kind of familiar. Legendary humans in control have indestructible. Here in this channel, we don't do a. All oh, right, I haven't got this yet. Heck yeah. Luca, Copper Code Outcast. Here in the channel, we're not really making super crazy smart decks. Um, <laughs> if you haven't watched Arena plays, they're pretty simple. We keep it that way. I'm sure there's a good combo there for the old General's Enforcer. Will I ever figure it out and do it myself? Probably not so much. All right. Let's see here. Frostville Ambush. The card there I should have seen already, but I haven't. Maybe I have. Okay. All right. What we got here? Trump and Ignar. Pretty sure that's how you pronounce that. Gnar. If not, berate me in the comments. It's all right. I get it. That's ugh. Aspicious. Starix. Ooh. <laughs> I don't think I have this one yet. And I don't think I can pronounce it right. R Rogrin Triome. I'll make a pile for the full art there. Ooh, and a full garrison cat. Worth over $2 million on BrianMTGMagic.com. Alright, alright. Let's see here. Let's see here. We're getting somewhere. Love this card. All the drafts I played. Just funny to have it out there. It's a nightmare squirrel. Bump a dump a dump. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Migration path. Will of the All Hunter. No. Oh. Save. Thunder Man. I'm pretty sure it's Save. And an unpredictable cyclone. For all those nice cycle decks out there that I'm sure they'll be my next one just because it's fairly easy to put it together. I'm not sure if anyone else noticed that some of these uh so I've had some packs that I can tear on the side, some that like have this weird I'll show you the next pack here, kind of cut down the middle. And then I want to say in, it might have been a bundle pack that I opened up, that they opened up like just from the back side of the traditional way. Woo. Roll Piquet. Roll Piquet, yeah. yeah. All right, Monstrous Step. An Ominous Seas. Sanctuary Smash Up. All right. Ah, finally. Unfortunately, it's not the full art one. Actually, maybe I got one of these last time. But I, oh, not the full art. I want the, the alternate art, the, the comic book art, whatever you want to call it. The old fancy cat token. Yeah, see, like, uh, had a weird little slit right there. Ooh, we got something shiny in the back. Something shiny in the back. Wait, what? No, oh, that's the gotcha. Gotcha. All right, another huntsman. Got the <laughs> Indatha crystal. Channel force. Hey. Look, it's another macro sage. Ooh, a blazing volley foil. All right, a token killer. Alright. 
So how's everyone liking the new set? And everyone's uh then we got a chance to play either physical cards or play on arena. If so, what cards do you like? What cards do you don't like? Let me know. What are you making? Cool. Trumpeting R. That's like the yeah. I haven't seen the, the comic book art in this one yet. He is not happy looking. Mythos Aluna. Yes, that squeaky noise in the background is not the chair I'm sitting on. That is indeed my spine. Ooh. Pouncing Shore Shark. <laughs> I'm so bad at keeping these back cards from sliding out. We got like a foil in like almost every pack, I feel like. Mythos. Gust of Wind. See, I haven't seen this one. I don't... Or did I? My memory's just shat. Sorry. My memory's shot and I'm sweating. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Oh, this guy, this guy is pain in the booty. Reptilian Reflection. When you cycle a card, you may have Reptilian Reflection become a 5-4 dinosaur creature with Trample and Haste in addition to its other types until end of turn. I may have definitely, uh, definitely felt some pain in some uh, cycle decks on Arena. That is a goth Mamba. Another Mythos of Luna. Ooh, Momentum Rumbler. Oh, jeez. That's... I gotta do something with that guy. Catch new content every day. No. Maybe an oddity. Got caller of the Death Dweller. We got some Zagoth Mamba again. Quartzwood Crash Up. How's everyone's spine doing out there? Because mine is what we in the business call wrecked. Sanctuary Lockdown. Humans control get plus one, plus one. I mean, I guess let's make a humans deck too. I mean, oh, so much work though. Cunning Knight Bonder. Cool. Kahira Orphan Guard. It's companions. What do you guys think about those? I haven't, I haven't played them too much, but they are, they're kind of strong. Having them in your hand, you've basically got eight cards starting off. That's crazy. Oh, yes. So this is one of them that I was looking for. Good old Necro Panther. Not only is it the karmic, the karmic, the karmic art, but it's also a shiny one. Alright, that was stack number one. Stack number one. We do have at least two more of these boxes to go through. Not on this video, and a, and a couple of pre-sale or pre-release boxes. See what's all going on in those. The old thieving ass Otta. No lucky when you steal. No sir. No sir whatsoever. Okay. We got neutralize. Splendor Mare. That's... 
some cool artwork. The artwork in this is fantastic, if nothing else. If you just like collecting cards, this is a set to collect. <laughs> uh, voracious Great Shark. Love these shark cards in here. Do not like saying the word voracious. My tongue is not equipped to say those kind of big words. That's cool. I get rid of the pack. You get these two. I'm not sure if everyone's seen these yet, but the little pop out tokens. We got, uh, you know, everything you need. Everything. Nope. I saw something shiny. I saw something shiny. We're getting something shiny here. Oh, 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 oh. But until then, easy prey. Huh. Lead the Stampede. Yudoro, Wandering Monster. Fertilid. You know, it's probably because most of these cards are common, so the ones that are uh, coming out foiled, I'm just like, you don't know what these are. I flew through a bunch of the commons and all these openings. Alright. Alright, fight is one. Used you a couple times. Oh, that's cool looking. Parcel beast. Boon of the wish, give him. That's expensive as all get out. But I guess it's kind of the fun thing with these cyclone decks. You can just kind of, even if like, I don't know, I guess, I'm going to say this is a draft set, uh, strategy. Even if it's the color you're not using, if it's a cycle card, just grab it anyway so you can Send out your deck and whatnot. <laughs> this, oh, this guy. This is some nasty stuff here. Oh. Never thought opening packs would take this long. I'm not even telling you guys anything constructive about the cards. Alright, we got a well. We can do an ocean deck. That's what we're doing. Hey, it's you again. My piles are becoming unorganized, yeah. Call of the Death Dweller. Jubilant Skybonder. Hey, the general. That's a sign. I should use you. Ooh, world of thought. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, draw a card. <laughs> three in one box no freaking way that this is gonna be the best box opening on this channel sure there's only one right now and it's not even posted but three evolving wilds game over son game freaking over and now i'm mixing my piles swallow hole storm wild caprador you know bird goat grim dancer Hey, this guy just beat me earlier. Huh. Well, there you go. Amoria the Collector. Once again, that Kraken is my spine in the background. All right. Another good old fashioned cloud piercer. Nope. Oh, I know what I got back there. <laughs> oh, it's such a cool card. This is my second full art version of it, too. Uh, where are we at? Easy Prey. Sanctuary Lockdown. Got Bone Lurker. <laughs> oh, wait. No, I don't have this one. I thought it was a Gem Razor for a sec. Heck yeah. Snap Dax. Snap Dax. Brought to you in part by something. See, I could, I feel like this is right up my alley of, uh, yeah, I like that. 
Oh, <laughs> an expensive leech. Oh, well, it does a lot of stuff, but no. I'm definitely not crafty enough to put that bad boy out there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm not sure if I should be reading these in my hand or looking through the camera, so I keep on seeing all the shiny stuff in the back of it. Titanothrex, Majestic, Uricorn, Blitz of the Rap, Thunder Raptor. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so we got the Zagoth Triome. That is brilliant. Oh, there's a camera catch and all. Oh, such a good set. Whew, we're almost there. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it out to any local, any of my local stores here. I don't know if they were even open, to be honest with you. I'm just pre-ordering these packs as uh, as uh, the coronavirus stuff was kicking. And we're actually busy as all get out at work. So I was treating myself to multiple boxes of this. Of this glorious set. And I, will, uh, I guess I could post the link where I got all of them. They're pretty decent prices. Most of them, pretty much all of them were under $100. Anything above $100 is because it came uh, in a bundle with, uh, well, with a bundle usually. <laughs> or other stuff. But I do recommend going out and, you know, helping all the local guys if you can. I might have to call around this weekend and see who's open and just go drop some money just to help them out. And because, uh, why not? I like opening cards on the channel. I think you guys enjoy it too. Who knows? All right. Horn Bash Mentor. Alert Heal Bonder. Unbreakable Bond. We've got a lot of bonds going on here. Oh, poor Dolores. You've been officially banned in some some formats today. But I don't think in standard, so you're still going to be my worst nightmare. Potentially. What format do you guys play? I'm usually doing standard half the time on Arena or Brawl. I don't have a good Brawl deck, though. So, I mean, if you want to play, just hit me up and let me know. All right, you again. Well, same, uh, same two there. All right. Cool. Lava Brink Venturer. All right. Oh, look at that. Shiny uh, Thornwood Falls there. Let's see if I can run through these a little quicker. Don't want to make this video too long. Oh, I make some piles again, but it's all right. We're good to go. Got another pouncer here. Oh, my goodness. I'm mixing piles over here, too. Shiny cards is shiny cards there, Brian. Shiny cards. Ooh, another Orphan Guard. And call Death Dweller of the Shiny Variety. All right, Frostville Ambush. Why do I... Yep. Ah, that wolf bear, I love it. I love it. All right, Red Rocks, Apex of Thunder. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Garuda, you're gonna be a pain in the butt too. 
Well, we got you in foil. It has to be worth a couple of pretty pennies. We'll check it up on... Oh, wait, there we go. On BrianMTGWarehouse.com. Worth over $275 million. $275 million. That's a real number. Not right. Footfall Crater. Yeah, the Ivy Elemental. I like it. I could I could do something with that. My decks are very simple. Don't be like, oh wow, you could do something with that. It's something crazy. Not so much. Ominous seas. And we got another Loris. But I still have yet. Oh my god, there's still another stack left. My poor spine. The one that Cub Warden alternate art. Or comic book alt art. Whatever it's called. Oh my goodness. Sprite Dragon. Save Crystal. Or Save. Flame Spill. Hunted Nightmare. Look at that. That's creepy. Hmm, what do we get out of here? Cavern Whisperer. Rooting Moloch. Moloch. Ooh, okay, another Necro Panther. It's not the Cub Warden. We'll take it. Offspring's Revenge. That's kind of a sad, uh, sad card. But, you know, whatever. Keen Sight Mentor. Creepy pair of glow, glowstone. Ah, glowstone. A recluse. Another hunted nightmare. Hmm. Chittering Harvester. <laughs> Another Zargoth Crystal. Oh, the first first poor guy to get banned from certain items or certain formats there. But I got you. All right. Regal Leosar. Really cool looking card. Draconisance mission. Boneyard Lurker. And we have a Slither Wisp. Alright. Neato. How's your lumbar region doing? Tell me in the comments below. <laughs> Mine's is wrecked. I'm doing this for you. Oh my god. Four. Four Evolving Wilds. No Terramorphic Expanse, but this will work out. You're just as cool. For, this is the best, hands down, best box opening ever on the channel. Flourishing Fox. Another Glowstone. Escape Protocol. Another tragically sad card here. All right, we're almost there, fellas. And ladies, fellas and ladies. Skull Prophet. Dire Tactics. The Archipelago. We got cartoon art. Comic book art. Whatever you want to call it. Winota. Oh, Winota. New in a foil inspired ultimatum. Don't like this one. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff. It doesn't seem like it's worth it. But I guess if you're smarter than me, which isn't going to be too hard baking the deck here, you can do something with that and and win. All 
Titans. All right, Clash of Titans. We got Zenith Flare. We got Barrier Breach. Ooh. We got Zerda, the Dawnwalker. Another cool, uh, cool companion here. The abilities you activate that aren't mana abilities cost two less to activate. The effect can't re yeah, you got this. That's you can do some stuff with that. Hell, I might be able to do some stuff with that. All right. One more pack after this, and then we're done. We'll see what's in this uh, box topper this time. All right. All right. Sanctuary Smasher. That looks really cool, actually. Don't know if I've seen that one yet. Crystalline Giant, a.k.a. Mecha Godzilla. This one is a great card. All right, final pack here, and I can adjust my my spine here and fall down to the ground screaming in pain, which is very possible at this point. All right, you got me. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Rudy Moloch, Lord Dracus. Kitra Crystal? Song of Creation. Huh. Still no Cub Warden alternate art. Ooh. Godzilla Primal Champion. All right. Well, there you go. Hopefully you liked the video. If you did, give us a little like uh, like button there. And uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. May pass along. Help us out. Or just berate us in the comments and let us know what we're doing wrong. What would you like to see? Anyway, take it easy. Enjoy. Uh, hey there guys, today we're going to open up uh, a box of Magic the Gathering cards. It's going to be Icornia, Lair of the Behemoths. This is the first time we're actually doing this on the channel. It's something, it's something that we wanted to do, but we never got around to doing it. I'm going to call it uh, Icornia the right way, but now I'm kind.